Hello everybody, this is Excalibur with another What's the Combo. This is episode 3, and we're going to go through a turn to Grimgrin based win for EDH. And uh, so long as you have access to every card in um, Magic, this should work. It doesn't work in Modern that I can see, but let's take a look here. Well, first off, this is going to rely heavily on Grimgrin and EDH. These are the, the key cards that you'll need. You'll need Grimgrin, you'll need some sort of uh, zombie ping card. You'll need Gravecrawler and Rooftop Storm. These right here, so long as you can get this all on the board, um, turn two, you will win the game. It is an infinite death combo and uh, no, not many people will be able to stop it. The worst they can do is probably Force of Will counter your Grave Crawler or some other inexpensive counter spell, but then the Rooftop Storm will be able to keep bringing it back. If they counter Rooftop Storm, then you're going to have some issues. So it might be good to have a counter spell in there to stop that from happening, but this is going to use up all your mana on turn one. So the first thing you do is you play a land that you can tap for mana on turn one. Um, doesn't matter what. It, it can be a, a swamp or an island. We'll just say a swamp. And then using that swamp, you have to put out a soul ring. So there's our soul ring right there. Um, you pass the turn. And then when your turn comes up again, you play your second land. And in this case, it has to be an island. It's got to tap for blue. If you happen to have an artifact that can tap for blue that doesn't cost anything to put out, that would be awesome. But the best bet is to have a basic land and basic swamp. Now, this is where you win. Uh, on turn two, you tap your swamp for dark ritual. And then you tap your island, and soul ring, and the dark ritual that will give you one, two, three, four, five, and a blue. Rooftop Storm hits the table, and that allows you to play your commander for free. He's going to come into play tapped. You play Gravecrawler, Vengeful Dead, or Diagraph Captain. Um, this is targeting another player, so if somebody happens to have Leyline of Sanctity out, you're going to be screwed with that. Best to have Vengeful Dead. So I'm going to put Diagraph Captain over on the side. So here's Vengeful Dead, and... Uh, Gravecrawler. What you're going to do is you're going to sacrifice Gravecrawler to Grimgrin. Gravecrawler goes into your graveyard. Vengeful Dead deals one point of damage to everybody. Now, Rooftop Storm, you may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for zombie creature spells you cast. And you can cast Gravecrawler from your graveyard as long as you control a zombie. You're in control of two zombies, so you cast Gravecrawler from your graveyard. Well, guess what you can do now? Sacrifice Gravecrawler to Grimgrin. While um, Grimgrin can't be untapped again, um, Grimgrin will get a plus one, plus one counter, and Gravecrawler will go to the graveyard, and Vengeful Dead will do a point of damage to everybody. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and, well, you get the idea. Well, what if you don't have a Vengeful Dead available? The next turn, you can put out another land. You can put out Wolf Hunter's Quiver, and you're going to have to have some sort of mana. So the best bet at this point is to get... Uh, let's pull up the actual thing here. We need to change the set. Okay, and we're looking for... Phyrexian Altar. So Phyrexian Altar, let's go ahead and throw that up in the cards. Chow. And then we go back to our graphics and hide these guys here. Now, the Phyrexian Altar you can use with the infinite... Um, you have to be able to untap, so you're going to need more land. It's probably going to be a turn three, turn four, somewhere around there, probably a turn five. 
but uh, you're you're gonna want to be able to get up this equipment. And by this time, you can do other things like cast Veil of the Nightclad, or um, some other pinger that um, does damage when uh, one of your creatures dies. So with Fresh and Alter, and this set up here, if you take this out of here, Gravecrawler gets sacrificed to Grimgrin, and then he's cast from the graveyard for free because of Rooftop Storm, so on and so forth. Or you can sacrifice Gravecrawler to the Friction Altar and get a man of any color. It goes in your graveyard, cast it for free, haha, -ha, because of Grimgrin. And then keep doing this over and over and over again, and you get infinite mana. Now, if you don't have Grimgrin, say he was tucked, but you do have Vengeful Dead Out, um, this is the awesome thing. If you have these four cards out here, you can sacrifice to the altar, do a point of damage, and call black. Then use the black, or and then just cast them again, and just keep doing it this way. The main thing with this is you have a sacrifice outlet. But say you don't have Rooftop Storm, and you don't have Grimgrin. Well, you can still do it with just these three cards. So you're going to see uh, <clears throat> Vengeful Dead is going to have to come out in turn four. So Fraction Altar will have to be out on turn three. But if you get Soul Ring and a land, you can put um, Fraction Altar out on turn two. And then on turn three, um, you can use your. Where'd the swamp go? Oh, it's underneath Dark Ritual. Um, you can use the Swamp, the Island, and the Soul Ring to cast Vengeful Dead, and then uh, you'll have this and this in play. This guy here you can probably do on turn one. So turn one or turn two, so probably turn one, then turn two, then turn three. Um, and you don't need Dark Ritual for this. Gravecrawler goes to Friction Altar, creates black, then you use that black to cast Gravecrawler from your graveyard. Vengeful Dead um, then does one point of damage every time you sacrifice it. Now, one of the awesome things is with Grimgrin is this. If you have this set up with Wolf Hunter's Quiver, you can still ping by tapping Grimgrin to ping, and you do Creature Player, so that's that's a caveat you'd have to target. Then you sack Gravecrawler to Grimgrin and he untaps. You bring Gravecrawler back, tap Grimgrin. You need Rooftop Storm for this or some way for infinite mana. So you could probably do the infinite mana route with Rooftop Storm and Gravecrawler. In any case, um, Gravecrawler keeps getting sacrificed and you just keep tapping Grimgrin and you do one point of damage infinitely to a target and then swap to another target then to another target and um, of course Diagraph Captain acts a bit like a wolf hunter's quiver because whenever a zombie you control dies you know what happens you can also throw in things like conspiracy and turn any of your creatures into um, turn any of your creatures into zombies so that if any of them die then bam you're gonna do points of damage depending on what it is so one of the best ways to do this is to have Diagraph Captain, Eventual Dead, Wolf Hunter's Quiver, Grimgrin, and Gravecrawler, and the Rooftop Storm in play. And then you'll do three to a target and one to everybody else. So it just gets it done faster. And that, my friends, is the turn to Grimgrin win. And <laughs> unfortunately, um, pull away the stuff that is not necessary the infinite zombie death needs eight cards so if you are ever ever lucky enough to pull a swamp an island a soul ring dark ritual vengeful dead or diagraph captain grimgrin rooftop storm and gravecrawler in the first hand and first draw of the game you are sitting pretty or even if it's a second draw um, as long as you can get this set out on turn two you are most likely going to win the game I have never gotten this to go off but it exists in my Grimgrin deck and uh, I'm waiting for the day that I can 
and make everybody go, what the heck just happened? And uh, that'll be a day that I'll probably um, keel over from a heart attack right in the store because this is such a statistical improbability to get this to come up. Well, actually, Grimgrin is always in your command zone, so you only need these seven cards. Within the first two draws, you need these seven cards. So <laughs> it's still an eight-card combo, and uh, it's just shenanigans. Shenanigans, shenanigans, shenanigans. And uh, people will probably laugh, laugh, laugh all the way um, to the next tournament if this ever gets gets out into play. And uh, I would like to see that happen on a turn two, because uh, just the looks on people's faces, they'd be like, you what, turn two with a zombie deck? Oh my god, and no storm? Well, technically there is storm. It's a rooftop storm, but it's not the storm mechanic. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, um, Infinite Combo, Grim Grin, Grave Crawler, Rooftop Storm, Vengeful Dead, Infinite Death Combo. Um, and uh, pass it along that this, is, this has to be something that pops up. It has to be. Because if it doesn't, it's going to be a travesty to everybody else in the world for not seeing this happen. Well, until next time, enjoy playing games, enjoy playing Commander slash EDH. Please leave a like, a favorite, and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out to know how many people are enjoying the content or getting anything from my videos. Um, this is Excalibur, and I am out.